Hello, welcome students to the new class of our English. Today we will start with the footprints, the triumph of surgery. So in this particular story, the main aspects are the problem with the, the dog, which is the pet of the character Miss the mistress which is there this is mrs pumpery and uh, that particular extra of affection towards the dog is creating problem for her and uh, the writer how he you know puts on track the health of the dog tricky we will see this so after this, we'll start uh, the main theme of the from the text. Tricky is a small dog who is pampered and overfed by his rich mistress. He falls seriously ill, and his mistress consult consults a veterinary doc, a surgeon or a doctor. Does he perform an operation? Does he dog recover? How that we'll see in the lesson. I was very worried about the tricky this time, means the writer is saying. I had pulled up my car when I saw him in the street. So in the street when he's seeing Pumpri, uh, what his impression is, he says, I'm shocked at his appearance. Why is he shocked? Because in the street, uh, he sees that he had become hugely fat. But when he's fat, he's not very, you know, worth seeing he looks uh, odd so he sees that uh, the sickness is seen by the veterinary doctor by that he, he had been usually fat like a blotted sausage sausage is you know the food item that uh, you know meat is spilled in it and cylindrical in shape so further we see that he also says that uh, uh, between meals, you know, so what what is the reason why he has become this type of, of a thing, you know, like not a sausage, a lag is very in each corner of that sausage. Then his eyes, bloodshot, red eyes, you know, eyes also shows the health. And rumi, rumi means watery, stare, stared straight ahead, and his tongue lolled from his jaws. The lolling of the tongue. The tongue is out, protruded out, and it's lolling means it's moving, unable to control the tongue. And that sickness that the veterinary doctor sees in that dog. Tricky. Mrs. Pumpery, the owner of the dog, hastened to explain he was so listless. Listless means without any uh, clue. Mr. Harriet, he seemed to have no energy. He's complete, she's complaining about a doctor, Harriet, the writer. I thought he must be suffering from malnutrition. So I have been giving him some little extra between meals to build him up some malt and cold liver oil and a bowl of horlicks at night to make him sleep. Nothing much really. Now the doctor does advise that sweetness should not be given to the dog because he is get, getting more fatty and... Uh, more fat is getting deposited in his body. So we can see over here that what Harriet, the writer, the veterinary doctor had given instructions to Mrs. Pim, uh, the, the owner of the dog, is tricky, is uh, not following the instructions of the, this doctor. So and did you not cut down any sweet things I told you? You know, you had to cut down. Why are you giving him sweet things? Or did, oh, I did it for a bit. But he seemed to be so weak, I had to relent. I thought he was giving me weak. So I thought that he must be given this extra sweetness so that he can you now gain the energy. He does not love cream cakes and chocolates. He does love giving him cakes and chocolate, so I can't bear to refuse him. So he loves the dog, she loves the dog so much that, you know, she feels that whatever 
he is pampered see pampering means whatever some uh, someone ask you to give as a loving nest towards that person that is known as you know you are you know pampering and you are you not know, adhering to whatever it like he likes now the dog dog likes uh, this see things and the doctor has said no then also he, she is giving so that's called pampering so here uh here what he says further tricky is only fault was greed and that for he was food so i look down is who is saying this the tricky the uh, tricky is uh, watched by and uh, therefore it is said by harriet that so further we see then our well we have he has a little walks with her you know exercise wise also is asking harriet can are you giving me exercise because the, to reduce the fat which is already you know deposited in uh, your dog you have you will have to give extra of this exercise so she gives an excuse for that also she says that uh, the gardener who makes him play gardener who makes him play the ring you know in the uh to make him run ring throwing and you know the dog, dog you see that uh, if he runs and that to catch the ring and bring it back to the master and all that so here the gardener makes him do that and he is suffering from this what do you call it uh, the lumbago lumbago is a uh, back pain very severe back pain that one has so that also the exercise was not being done so you can see the pick of uh, bump means bumpery and uh, the tricky the dog was being very thick and also the writer the veterinary doctor i try to sound severe see the doctor gets angry now i really mean this if you don't cut this food right now and give him more exercise he's going to be really ill so he's going to become ill so better stop all this you must harden your heart and keep him a very strict diet you very strict diet don't uh, what i said no no sweetness no extra anything and doing exercise and whatever i say no you have to do otherwise you will be in trouble but if it's so difficult you know say so ms pumpri ms pumpri says that mrs pumpri wrung her hands wrung her hands means moved it you know like a shy what i have done you know oh i will mr harriet i'm go i'm sure you are right but it is so difficult so very difficult she so so is that she is uh, helpless you know she loves the dog so much she set off head down along the road as if determined to put to the new regime into practice immediately her attitude was like that she is going to go home and straight away you know with pumpri she is going to uh, mrs pumpri is going to uh, put the restrictions on the dog and do as per the doctor is given advice the expected call came within a few days expected no he the had it knew as a veterinary doctor that miss mrs pampri is such a lady that she will never stop pampering the dog and the dog is going to not recover but you know getting back to worst the expected call came within a few days so he was expecting the call will come and mrs pampri was distraught very uneasy tricky could eat nothing refused for his favorite dishes and besides it bouts of vomiting so here we can see the bout of vomiting and not able to eat the things they like that shows that he was to- totally sick he didn't want to go any uh, do do anything you know, he was lying there when you are sick you don't like to move also you know that way this dog also is uh, having the problem as this that he be hospitalized for about a fortnight to be kept over observation what night means 15 days you will have to keep this dog to uh, to me then only you will be able to uh, get tricky again in a good shape but i took a firm line tricky was very ill and this was the only way to have him in fact i thought it best to take him without delay followed by mr pimpris wailings so we pimpris uh, thought that he is giving a suggestion that i will keep but no 
Harriet wants the dog to implement his decision of keeping uh, Tricky the dog immediately without any delay. I march out and that, that time the wailing, you know, she's wailing, who? This is Pampri, wailing means crying, oh my dog, I cannot live without him and all that. I marched out of the car carrying the little dog wrapped in a blanket. He marched out, take out, took the dog and you know, straight away marching, straight away, fast away, went into the car, into his car. The entire staff, you know, the house at which this uh, Pampri was very rich, and the staff roused in maids, rushed in and out. Bringing his day bed, his night bed, his you know, favorite cushions, toys, rubber rings, breakfast ball, lunch ball, supper, supper ball, all these you know, things which uh, Tricky was playing with or Tricky used to, that he, uh, it was decided you know, to, by the staff ready to give so that uh, in the car they can put so the pimp for 15 days can use these things which will be helpful to him over there. As I moved off Mrs. Pumphrey with the, the despairing cry threw up an armful of the little coats through the window. So angry she was. You now she, from her house is throwing away this, uh, uh, the coats and all which she is having for Pumphrey, uh, for uh, Tricky. Mrs. Pumphrey is doing that. Why? She's angry that my dog is taking for 15 days. How can I survive without her? I turned the corner of the drive. So how he is able to see the mirror, the back mirror in the car is there, from that she is able to see uh, the back portion and that back uh, part is, um, uh, uh, she is able to, he, uh, the, the veterinary doctor is able to see what Pimpri and uh, Mrs. Pimpri is uh, doing and that uh, he sees that she is throwing away all these things out of agony and uh, not able to, uh, you know, bear the loss of uh, this dog for 15 days, you know, tricky. Out the road, I glanced down the pathetic little animal gasping on the seat by my side. Gasping, not able to take breath. You know, the dog, which is beside, is taking away to his uh, veterinary uh, dispensary there. I patted the, the, the head and the tricky made a brave effort to wag his tail. Brave effort, he could not. He has no energy. Poor old lad. I said, you haven't a kick in your... But, kicking you, but I think I know a cure for you. I think you don't have this health for within you, but still I will be doing something to cure you of this particular disease. So with this, the first part of our this lesson we have completed. We will continue in the second part, the remaining part of the lesson. Have a good day. Thank you.